Family Feud fans have slammed the show, claiming they can no longer watch it due to changes in the line of questioning. There have been a series of racy questions, leaving host Steve Harvey shocked. Family Feud fans took to Reddit to discuss the direction of the show under a thread titled, Game Show You Loved Initially, But Grew Tired? Family Feud. Not just the, Steve, Harvey version. I can watch a few episodes at a time, but not a marathon, one fan replied. Someone else responded, referring only to Steve's version of the show. I feel ya. Family Feud was amusing and would have the occasional contestant blurt out the most outrageous answer nearly 15 years ago, they complained. Now, in the recent seasons, the questions are becoming contrived and obvious just to elicit Steve Harvey's thousand-yard stare into the camera to the extent that you feel sorry for him having to endure this. A third fan agreed, writing, I don't feel sorry for him at all. I'd love to get his salary for acting shocked when someone answers breasts to name a part of the body that is rounded or whatever. It was better when the questions were more of a general knowledge meld, posted a fourth. A fifth commenter wrote, Today, IMO, the show is unwatchable as at least two main game questions are at best risque and families getting a dollar a point for their main game score was long gone by then, and teams that were shut out were usually given $100 as a house minimum in the Richard Dawson era. Risqué response. Viewers got to see one particularly risqué response in a clip posted on the official Family Feud Instagram page on Monday. The video showed Steve, 67, prompting players, name something you'd do if you saw your husband wearing thon underwear. During the show, a contestant named Craig gave the survey his all, despite seemingly not having a husband. Typically, when I see my husband wearing thon underwear, I'll take him back, he quipped. His teammates applauded the answer as Steve took center stage. He was taken aback by the answer, so much so that he caused a bit of a scene as he acted out taking an imaginary husband's thong back. Give me that. Steve said, pulling down an invisible thong from an invisible man. Sitting there without my damn thong on, Steve imagined himself saying to his non-existent partner. These belong to me, he added, pretending to put the thong on over his suit, one leg at a time. The audience howled with laughter as Steve slowly placed the imaginary thong over his private area. Dunn stretched them all out of shape and everything, he said, pretending to be upset. He repositioned the non-existent thong until it was just right. Unfortunately for Craig, take them back was not on the board, but fans loved the silly moment. What are you doing if you see your husband wearing a thong? Thinking face peach slightly smiling face hashtag Steve Harvey demos. Hashtag Family Feud, Family Feud captioned the post. Funny as hell, commented a fan. Sitting up in here without my damn thongs. Don't stretch them, posted a second, echoing Steve's sentiments in his pretend scenario. Perfect answer in Steve's reaction, penned a third. That's a pretty good answer though. Wonder why that ain't up there, shared a fourth, backing Craig up. Steve Harvey is the greatest game show host button, exclaimed a fifth. Major mistake. A day earlier, Family Feud fans were left in stitches over an interaction between Steve and a contestant. The game show player delivered a dirty answer that was actually on the board. Family Feud posted a throwback clip on TikTok that showed two contestants coming up to the podium for the first round. Steve asked them, name a part of your body that might look like a carrot. A man buzzed in, answering, penis. The audience gasped as Steve let out a sigh and turned around to check the board. Much to his surprise, man part was listed for 18 points. Hashtag Steve Harvey has no words hashtag family feud, the caption read. In the comments, fans reacted to the shocking correct answer. Steve's reactions are priceless, cracked one fan, adding laughing emojis. Why does he ask the most awkward questions like he is trying to set them up to say something dirty and then get surprised when they do or say something dirty, questioned a TikTok user. Back in May, the show was slammed as raunchy fan fans after a NSFW prompt. Steve asked players to name something a married couple might do together at home in the nude. Contestant Regina replied, make love. Steve turned to the board, certain the answer would be in one of the top spots. The number two slot flipped, but rather than make love, the answer read, barbecue the bratwurst. 
The audience laughed as the contestant asked, what in the world? Family feud is getting kind of raunchy, one critic commented online. So much for a show being called Family Feud, another complained. In July, an insider discussed Steve's handling of uncomfortable questions and answers on the show, assuring fans he knows what he's doing. A source told the U.S. Sun exclusively, Family Feud is one of the small handful of game shows whose rerun episodes pull as many eyeballs as original shows do, and in the world of free-to-watch TV, that's a license to print money. Plus, the format has been translated to dozens of countries around the world and those hosts also know how to make the show into a wild experience. The insider maintained that Steve's responses aren't calculated and that he improvises his reactions and replies based on wild answers.